Hey everyone, my name's Aaliyah, and um, so today's video is a haul of all the candle stuff I've gotten, or of all the stuff I've gotten for my candle business that I just yesterday officially bought the name for, so I'm super excited about that. The next step I'm going to do is um, get my business license. So, before that happens, I just wanted to show you, I got really excited and I went to Target and I didn't have a lot of money, but I just got a few things um, to help me keep organized with my candle business because I haven't been very good at keeping my personal life organized, but I don't want to mess up and I want to make sure that I'm doing everything right so that it doesn't end up worse than it started, <laughs> me starting a business. So I just got a couple organization things and I realized as I was getting it all together and I was excited to film this video that I actually didn't get very many things at all, but it felt like a lot to me because it's going to help me a lot and it's going to help me stay organized. So the first thing that I wanted to get was a planner. Um, this is the simplified planner. Um, and the reason I got it is just because it had a lot of space to take notes. And so, and I like that. I need a lot of space to take notes, write down all the things that I think I need to remember so like I have this big giant page here so I put ideas for my business or I'm going to put ideas for my business there I just have one right now and then another page which just has it was just a, a bucket list but I made it into um to-do list for this is a general to-do list and then I split it up by months um so like January these are the things I'm going to do these are the days I'm going to start doing them because I need to, I learned a few months ago that I have PMDD and it comes with a bunch of symptoms and I basically have all of them. And so I went from being able to have my mind focused on a lot of different things to needing to break down, just do a couple things a week so that I don't overwhelm myself and get upset with myself. And then, I don't know, anxiety and all that stuff. No, thank you. So I'm just going to do a couple things a month. And if it takes a little bit longer to start the business than I had originally planned. That's okay, because this is going to help me, I don't know, do everything right. Next thing I got was a uh, whiteboard calendar. I love whiteboard calendars. They're my favorite kind of calendar, because I'd rather just buy one and keep it for years as opposed to buying a new one every single year. I don't know, maybe some people like to switch it up, but I don't got money for that. So I like this one, because um, it was, I liked how square it was and not rounded and the squares are big enough for me to put a little description of everything I'm doing on that day but so basically I don't really need this right now but I'll need this when I hopefully start doing farmers markets and craft shows and maybe different meetings with different people networking stuff I can fill out this calendar and this will only be for business stuff I have a separate one for my household stuff and like personal life so this one's only gonna be for business and that's my business name is it backwards I don't know because I'm just recording on my uh, phone, so I don't know if it flips it when I record it, but my business name is ah, Akua's Essentials, and Akua is my middle name. Um, and then since that was all I had to show you, that was literally, oh wait, no, I have this, but it wasn't from when I went to Target. This was just from something I bought a while ago for my personal life, and then I never ended up needing it for my personal life, so I'm going to use it for my business. It's just this metal, what does this say? Tin plaque, um, magnets, I'm gonna hang it up and then it's gonna go by like my desk so that if I'm like doing stuff for my business or I have a small idea or something really quick, I can put a sticky note on here for, or um, once I get more magnets, then I can put um, all the notes up here. So this is just for on the go, on the fly ideas. Um, Maybe different, I don't know, different stuff like that. I would love to be able to show you like my logo and business cards and stuff. But um, my brother right now is actually making my logo because he wants to become an animator. Um, and so he's out in California trying to live that life. He's really good. Follow him on Instagram at R-A-M-O underscore arts. I could be wrong, so I'll have to do that in the next video because I'm probably wrong. 
But so this whole journey started maybe three years ago. And I love candles. I bought so many candles. I love buying candles in all the different scents because I liked how I could buy a candle that matches whatever mood I'm feeling. That's why I like to buy candles. I like to buy candles so that if I'm in that mood, then I can light that candle and just like sit in it. I don't know. Sit in that mood. Um, and so I was like, my favorite smell is vanilla. I kept buying vanilla candles. And then I thought to myself, this is really expensive. My husband was like, you cannot keep buying candles. <laughs> like we're spending too much money on them. So I, um, I was like, maybe I should start learning how to make candles. And so at first I thought, nah, that's probably way too hard. But then I went on Pinterest and I just typed in how to make candles and just looked at their like little things that said how to make them, uh, little pictures. And so I saw a picture and it only had like six steps and it looked super easy. So I was like, hmm, maybe I should. And probably a few months went by and then maybe I looked at a YouTube video or something like that. And then I lo started looking on Amazon for like, hmm, I wonder if I can get a starter kit, how to make candles. And then of course they had a starter kit and it was awesome. Perfect starter kit. I actually have that. Let me go get it. Oh, <laughs> so I'm filming in Snoopy pants, but whatever. So the starter pack comes with a bag of hearts and crafts uh, wicks, candle wicks, and a, where are they? Maybe I threw them away because I don't really like them. Oh, I put them in a different box. <laughs> They're like these um, candle wick stabilizers, they keep it in place for when after you or so when you pour your candle, the wick stays in one place like where you want it to. Um, so it keeps it straight in the candle, but I don't really like those. So what I do is I just use an old color pencil. Literally, I think this is from like ninth grade or something like that. I don't even know. And then you just wrap the wick around it and it stays on your candle. I don't know. It's easy. And then it also comes with a bag of... Well, I got, I think mostly on Amazon, they sell soy wax. And so this Hearts and Crafts candle starter kit, which is only $30, I think, um, comes with a 10 pound bag of wax. My bag of wax, this is like the third kit I bought. And the reason I buy the kit is because it's really cheap and it gives you wicks every time. So I just have bought the kit like three times. Um, but so this is not the bag that the... Uh, candle wax comes in. This is my bag. Uh, something happened to it and it's a long story, but so then it comes with the candle wax. And this soy wax comes in a flake form. Um, not all wax comes in a flake form. I'm going to have to start finding different suppliers. Oh, I do have one. And it's sturdy because I never cleaned it after like the first time I used it. This might even be for my first candle because it looks like it's the same color. But um, this is the wick stabilizer. And I don't know, this has never really worked for me. Okay, so that's that. It doesn't come with a thermometer, so you need to get a thermometer. And it says you should get a candy thermometer, but my local stores just had um, meat thermometers, so I just got one of those. But... Oh, my brother got me a candle DIY set for Christmas and it came with a candle thermometer, the right kind or a candy thermometer or whatever. It doesn't even say, but let's see. Yeah, it doesn't even say, but here's this one compared to the meat thermometer that I just bought at Target, which was way too much money. I like the screen though. Oh, you can move it up and down and then it starts beeping when like you can set it to it needs to reach this temperature and then it starts beeping when it's at that temperature and I wish you could do it the other way so once it gets low enough to that temperature then um then it would beep too but you can only do it one way and then this one um this meat thermometer has a cord that leads to the the actual thermometer part that you stick in there and it's kind of nice, but it's also kind of annoying. Like you need to keep the cord out of the way and not getting burned on the burner and like, I don't know, keep it clean. But so that was that one. Ooh, and this is nice. If you get it at Target, it has like the different temperatures you can cook meat to. So that's always good to know. And then this is the candy one. Um, 
I like it, but... Oh, I've been holding it upside down this whole time. I like it, but... Um, it turns off after like 20 minutes or something or 10 minutes. I don't even know. And that's kind of annoying because then I'm still using it. And I have to keep returning it back on, but it came in a DIY kit and a Christmas present. And it's the first right thermometer I've gotten. So thank you to my brother because that literally was the coolest Christmas gift. I was like, oh, cause it came with like the candle dye for like the different colors. And then it came with beeswax candle wax, which I've used before. Um, but I think this was a different kind. Well, it was a different kind because it came in pellets. Um, and it wasn't as yellow, which I can't remember what that means. <sighs> yeah, I was <clears throat> When I was thinking about making beeswax candles, um, then I researched it, but now I've forgotten everything I researched. So, And I'm not going to be making beeswax candles for my business. Maybe I will at some point, but um, I'm just going to be using soy wax and then a soy paraffin blend wax. <laughs> But, so, I wanted to show you some of the candles I make. And then I realized all the candles I make I sell or give away, like, make for other people or make as presents. So, like, I only have, like, the first candles I've ever made. So, this one right here is the first candle I ever made. Made it purple. I don't know why I made it purple, actually. And then, um, it smells like vanilla. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm really tired. I don't get a lot of good sleep. I'm the one that like wakes up in the middle of the night and can't go back to sleep. But um, let me smell it. I think it's just vanilla. If I added lavender, I definitely can't smell it anymore. Oh, look at the inside. There's like parts where I burnt <laughs> the oil too much. Um, Only used it a few times. The smell is way too strong because the essential oil I had is kind of, it's sandalwood vanilla from like Walmart, I think. And, um, it, I put way too much of it in here, I'm pretty sure, because I wasn't measuring it in any way, and soy wax can only hold, like, 12, I think, don't quote me on this, 11% or 12% oil, can only contain that much oil, so I probably poured way too much in here, and that's probably what's burning off, but I love soy wax. And then, because that's like the only candle I have to show you, and that's definitely not what my candles look like anymore, I want to show you when I experimented with beeswax, and I did put a smell in this one. Yeah, I didn't really care about the top because I was just making it as an experiment for myself. This one smells really good, and it says that beeswax takes, like it absorbs the scent, like the least amount of any waxes. So it's not very smelly when you light it. But when I'm just smelling it right now, it's pretty smelly. I never lit this one, so I'll have to light it and see. I think I put hazelnut vanilla in this one just to see if it would take the scent. So I'm excited because I just smelled that. And I made that like a year ago. And I think I'm going to try lighting it. And then this one, I put, I tried lemongrass. It's coconut, beeswax, and lemongrass. I wrote it on the bottom just to make sure. Because I was experimenting with three different kinds. This one, this one over here must have been an extra. Um, but coconut said it, or I read that, I think coconut helps the scent bond better or something. Or helps the wax melt better. I can't remember. But it actually smells pretty good. There's a long wick, but I just made a tiny candle. Because the beeswax came in a block. And so I had to like... This was stupid, but I was using a cheese grater and going like this when I should have cut off a piece of it and then used a cheese grater or just kept cutting off pieces of it because melting pieces of it would have been fine too and way less messy. So, and now I can't ever use that. <sighs> Excuse me. Now I can't ever use that cheese grater again. So that's cool. And then, so this is more of what my candles will look like now except for this is wax melt and I probably won't make wax melts like this again because they would turn out to be really expensive and I just kind of want to stay local in like this county so I made this one it's a wax melt Christmas tree smell originally my company was gonna be called Aaliyah Akua Candles and then I realized then if I want to start making something else that name doesn't make sense anymore so I had to do I chose a name that was gonna be a broader because there are a couple things I want to branch up into making too that I've like given as presents already and gotten good reviews on so hopefully I can start doing that soon but the things I want to make are more regulated so I'm going to just start with candles and handle the regulations for that first 
and then move on to stuff that probably cost more money to make and I could get sued for. So I don't want to do anything wrong. But anyway, so smells like Christmas tree. This is what the inside looks like. I like the circle wax melts. And I just bought these labels offline and then I hand lettered them, which took way too long. And I would suggest buying labels, but I didn't have the money for that. So that's why I got those on. And now my brother's going to design my logo and I'm going to get it printed off on stickers and just put that on all my candles. So that would be really nice. And then this was try number two. Well, it wasn't try number two. It was, I was selling out of all these wax melts. So I needed to make more. They're not the same color because I used a different, um, brand of color dye and um I have never weighed out like how much um color I'm putting in which I'm gonna have to start doing although I don't know I kind of like how everything comes out just a different color but I think for business purposes I should start weighing the amount of color I put in so that all the candles will turn out the same but anyway so this um was when I had made the second batch so I could sell more and this batch I actually like better of this smell the Christmas tree scent that I did because I had gone to GNC. I don't know if you guys have one of those. And I don't know what GNC stands for. Okay, yeah, I thought I remembered. No, I don't know what GNC stands for. But um, they're like a local like fitness. Like they sell um, like protein powder and uh, vitamins and all that good stuff. And so they sell essential oils. And I had just been smelling a couple different ones. And so I smelled cedar wood. And so it smelled really good. It smelled like pine to me. So I added it to the Christmas tree scent and it just added like, it just added like another level of like the scent. I don't know if you know what I mean, but like sometimes it's just like one smooth scent and sometimes it has, it takes you on a journey. You know what I mean? Maybe you don't get it <laughs> unless you've made candles or love candles. No, I don't know. But it added like a whole nother level to the scent. So I liked that. Thank you if you watched this video this far. Um, I know everything I showed you wasn't super exciting, but maybe you like seeing my candles or maybe you want to follow me on my candle business journey. Maybe you want to start a candle business one day. So totally follow me on my journey then if you want to see how it goes. You might get some steps, some tips and tricks. I'm actually, I've actually been watching somebody else's videos. So in my next video, I'll tell you their name because I don't remember off the top of my head because they own a candle business. Um, I think they're a few years in. And they give some really good advice on ways to start out and stuff like that. But thank you for watching my video and bye.